okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous videos we have handled all the user routes okay so now from this video we will start working on our admin uh, routes so in this video we are basically first of all going to get all the products and display that on the uh, admin panel okay so in, in the uh, all products and remember that this is an admin only route and now we have to protect these routes from the unauthorized users normal user cannot access the admin routes okay so let's see how we can do that first of all i go back to my vs code okay so i go to the app in the app i create a new folder that is called admin okay so all my admin routes will go under this admin so slash uh, local host port 3000 slash admin and slash other routes all right and now in that i create my new folder that is called products so that is going to be slash admin slash products in that i create my page dot jsx file okay so in that i have to get all the products that i want to uh, display so i will simply actually uh, copy this from here all right and i put that here so i just need to pass in here the page number because i want to implement the pagination on all uh, products on in the admin panel you can also implement the search and other filters if you want but i will use only page here just to show you okay so i will use the search query use my query string package here and then I will pass uh, this search query in the slash API slash products and get back my data. Okay. And then I have to basically call that and get back here my data. Okay. And I pass this data here. And now I have to create my component, which is the products for the admin. So I go to my components, create a new folder here that is called admin. In that I create my uh, file that is called products uh, .jsx. Okay. So in that I have to basically add or display all the products uh, on the admin panel and I will use simple uh, tailwind table to display that. Okay. So I go to my uh, uh, Chrome and here you can see that I am on my Git repo. I go to the source in the components. Um, I go here in the admin. Then here I have this products.jsx file. So in that, so in that you can see that I have just used this table here. Okay, I just give here some uh, tailwind classes like with full text, small text left, and this way I have this uh, head, t head, and then a table rows and table body here. And here I have three different buttons. One is to upload the images. One is to edit the uh, product details. You can see that I have used here this pencil icon and then this trash icon for the uh, to delete the product. So this is simply uh, just a table. So I simply copy that from here, and then I go back and i just put that here okay now here you can see that i have used here sidebar but i will create a custom layout for the uh, admin panel so for that's why we don't need that sidebar here so what i will do here is i will simply remove this part from here okay and also i will remove this part okay so i will create a layout in a minute okay so this is our products um components so i will use that here so products from admin slash products and i will uh, remove that from here simply save it and now for example if i go back and i go in the all products uh, so i have to import the link from next slash um, router so i will move this from here and also i will import here link from next slash link and now if i go back uh, so we have here link tag and we have to use here href so i use your href also on this link component save it and now you can see that here we get here uh, the uh, hard coded values so 12 products and first of all the name of the product then the stock price and then the action buttons now we also have to set first of all set the layout for our admin uh, dashboard okay so basically i will use the same layout uh, that i have used for the user panel but i will display on the top if i go back uh, i have used here uh, user dashboard but i will type here admin dashboard and you can change that layout according to your needs i just want to show you that how we can use nested layouts in different uh, pages okay so let's see how we can do that I simply go back i will uh, basically go in the uh, sorry app directory in the admin i will create a new file here that is called layout.jsx Remember that with this layout.jsx we can implement the nested layouts. So for this folder I will use admin panel layout. So what I will do is I will simply go back uh, in the me 
and I will copy this layout from here. So this is user layout. You can uh, obviously paste that here. So I will change it to admin layout. Okay. So I will just change this to admin, but you can change other stuff as well. You can add your own custom fields or whatever you want. I simply save it from here. And now if I go back and I go to all products, you can see that here now we have here the admin dashboard. So now you can see that we have our uh, products in this way. If I go to the user profile, your profile, I am on user dashboard. But if I go to the product, all products, I am on the admin dashboard. So in this way, we can uh, display the uh, different layouts for different resources or different pages. So now let's display all the products here. I simply go back. So uh, I go in the products. I close this layout from here and also this page. So I have here my data that I have passed from the page.jsx file. And first of all, let's display here data dot product count okay if i go back now you can see that here we have five products in the database so i got here five now let's display the other details like name stock price and actions so for that after this td i will use a loop here and display all the table rows okay so data dot products dot map and i type here product okay so i will move this tr uh, inside this uh, loop okay and I uh, move that inside oops cut it from here and I put that here save it and now we have to display here the all the details so first of all I have here the product dot name then we have here product dot store you can display the other details if you want but I will display here these so that is going to be product dot price if i save it and go back you can see that here now we have here the product name stock price and we also have to display here the custom pagination okay so i go back and i scroll down so here um after this table i will display the custom pagination okay so i will use here a div dot let's give margin bottom of six okay to give some spacing and in that i will use the custom pagination so I will import my custom pagination and in that we have to pass uh, first of all res per page okay so that is going to be uh, data dot res per page and then we have to display here the products count so for the products count I will use here uh, data dot uh, filtered products count simply save it and now if I go back I have here three buttons if I go to page number two you can see that I am on page number two. I got here next two products. If I go to the page number three, I am on the third page where I have only one product. So in this way, we can display all the products in this way. Okay. You can also use a link tag here to give the link of this product. With that, you can simply click on that and go to that product details page. Okay. You can also do that. So now we have to handle these three buttons. We have to upload the images of the product, edit the product details, and delete the product. Okay. And before that. Uh, we also have to basically protect our routes from the unauthorized users because this is admin only route and only admin can access that but this user is a normal user okay if i go if i open my mongodb compass here if i go here in the users um you can see that here role is user so right now the normal user can also access these admin routes but we have to protect that okay um so for that first of all um i go here in the uh, middleware so I, first of all I go in the here I close this from here I go to this middleware.gsx and actually let's do this okay so now here we have to basically authorize the admin roles and also we have to add here uh, the protected routes so right now we have this added here this we also have to add here the slash shipping page we have to also protect that from the unauthenticated users and also we have to protect the admin slash admin slash path for all admin routes this is going to be a protected routes only logged in user can access these okay but we also have to make sure that the user role is also admin for the admin routes and we have to do that here okay so in this middleware what i will do is i will first of all get here const url is going to be request dot next url dot path name 
okay so i will get here path name and then after that i will get here the user role okay because you have to authorize that so user role i will get that with the request dot next auth dot um token after token we have here the user okay so user dot role so now in this way we can get get access to the url and also the user role so let's log that first of all just to show you here the url and then the user role okay simply save it from here so now if i go back and just reload this page okay and if i go here i can show you here that we get here log okay um where it is let me log here uh url1 simply save it now if i reload this page now let's go back and search that here okay so you can see that here uh, we get here path slash admin slash users okay i got here all paths and then i got here the user which is the user role okay so we can check that here so now we have here the url and also we have your user role now we just have to uh, verify that and for that i will use here a if statement that if url dot starts with uh, the admin okay so we will check that if uh, the url starts with slash admin this means that this is the admin route okay and we make sure that and user role is not equal to the admin this means that this user is not admin okay so we will check that if user is accessing the admin route and user is not admin this means that we have to redirect the user to the uh, home page so i will use here return next response okay dot redirect in that we have to pass in here the url so I will use here new URL and a pass in here the path that is going to be slash and the URL that is going to be request dot URL. Okay, so now it will redirect the user uh, to this page. Okay, and we also have to use the uh, callback here. Okay, so I will use here callbacks. Okay, in that I have to use here authorized. In that I will simply check that if we will get the token and we will return true if there is no token okay so if there is no token we will simply return true from here um actually this is this is the short form of uh, this if no token i will simply return from here true simply save it okay so now if i go back and i go here in the user dashboard and go to click on this all products you can see that I am redirected to the home page because I am not uh, the admin user. So in this way, we can basically protect our routes from the unauthorized users for the admins. Okay. Now we also have to disable these options because I, I don't want to show these options to the normal user. Okay. So for that, I will simply go back to my VS Code. I will simply go to the components in the layout. I have here sidebar. Okay. So what I will do here is I will simply get the user from my state so i will get here the user from the use context and i pass in here the auth context okay so i will get the user uh, from the auth context okay and now i have to basically uh, check the role so i scroll down here and after this ul i will simply check that if user dot role is equal to admin okay then i can only see the options and and then i will cut it from here and i have to go um, right here simply paste it here save it and now if i go back and see that i cannot see those options because this is a normal user okay if i type here slash admin slash products i am redirected back to the home page if i click here there is an option okay so now we have successfully protected the front-end routes from the unauthorized users. Remember that we also have to authorize the role on the back-end on the back-end routes. And I will handle that in my next video. So now let's make this a user admin. If I go back to my uh, database, let's change the role to admin. And you can change that uh, from this admin panel, but we will implement that later. Okay, right now we just uh, update the role from here. Simply click on update. And now this user is admin if i reload this page 
um i think so you have to sign in again sign in enter my details here click on login and now if i go here now you can see that here i get here all the admin routes i can see all the products here because now this user is admin okay so in this way we can simply uh, protect our routes from the unauthorized users on the front end in my next video i will also protect my back end routes which are going to be admin routes like create product upload images that are admin routes and i will protect those in my next video if you have any question related to this video you can post that in the comment section i will try my best to reply there and also you can get the source code of this video from the description of this video as well so i will see you in the next lecture in which we will simply create our new product from the front end and also product that route from the back end from unauthorized users